G'day, g'day. Welcome to the Simple Joys, everyone. I've got a bit of a treat today. I picked up a bearded dragon. It was um, down on the road. Earlier on, Mum called in to visit, and she said there was one sitting in the middle of the road. Now, sometimes they just play statue, stand still and freeze. It's just their um, defence mechanism. So when I went down there, I was half expecting it to be gone already or run away when I went close to it. But actually stayed still, so I picked it up and I checked it out. Underneath it looks like it's got a small injury um, underneath its tail. And it wasn't that lively. So I brought it back for a look and I put it in the container. And it was only on the road out the front, so it's still within its area. And hopefully I'll be able to let it go and it doesn't need too much looking after. But I definitely wanted to show you it's because they're a beautiful animal, the bearded dragon lizard. Um, people who have snakes and lizards as pets all over the world will know what I'm talking about. But we get them here just running, running free and wild around our place. So that's how I like to leave it. But this one has got particularly beautiful colours. It's got real light colours on it. Generally they're a, a sort of dark grey. But this little beauty, so they flatten their bellies out like this to make themselves look bigger. They've got a real rough, prickly skin, and they also puff out under their chin a little bit too. But this fella's not looking real good. I think he might have actually got nicked by a car. I was hoping I could just let him go but he's not looking real good at all unfortunately that's how it goes cars and nature instead of cars now, it pisses me off because we've got a quiet little road out the front here not many people use it and idiots can't slow down to avoid a lizard. Really gets me going. When I first picked it up, I could tell that it was injured under the tail. Um, but now that I've let it sit in here, it's continued to bleed and it's getting worse, not better. It's just about dead. And this is what happens when people can't take the time to slow down and go around wildlife on our quiet roads. Right, the road out there is, it's a big enough road and it's not busy so there's no danger to the person slowing down. It, it's not a main road, it's a quiet little road and someone's in that much of a hurry to get where they're going, they can't even slow down for a reason. Sorry, I like to be happy on the videos but Unfortunately, this is the bad part of trying to rescue animals. It's not always successful. Most of the times when I get animals off the side of the road, I can look after them for a few days, make sure they're healing well and release them. But I really don't like the chances for this one. I didn't think it was that great health-wise when I picked it up because it didn't put up much of a fight. Um, normally they'll scurry off if they're okay. But it looked a lot better than that when I picked it up. I brought it straight up to the house, put it in this container so it wasn't stressing out, put the lid on, left it dark. And um, I've just opened up the lid now because I was going to give you a look at it. But yeah, it's just, it's gone from bad to worse, unfortunately, and I don't think there's much hope for this one. But I used this video instead of. Um, a video to showcase a nice bearded dragon lizard. I'll use it to emphasise how much you need to be careful on the roads because we're infringing on wildlife's environment all the time. You know, we're, we're building and moving into their areas. So they've got nowhere to go. So they're going to be our ro on our roads and they're going to be close to houses and around the place. So. I'll just use this as a note for people to take care when you're on the roads, watch out for wildlife. Um, a lot of people don't think too much of something as small as a lizard, but I do, it's beautiful. And um, it's a real shame to see this happen to one. 
And then when you get bigger, like kangaroos, deers, all that sort of thing, you not only pose a threat to them, but you pose a threat to yourself and anyone else in the car because they can cause major damage and accidents. So, just a word for everyone to be careful out there on the roads. Watch out for wildlife and please try and um, take their safety into account too. They're living creatures on this planet just like us. And I love all these animals to be around when we have grandkids. So, take care everyone and remember, enjoy the simple things in life. Bye.